Can you see the glistening of the heavy dew this morning? When you get heavy dew, it means it's going to be a warm or a hot day. I'm just up making coffee this morning and it's a beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning here south of Ajo. Uh, Linda and I are going for a hike. Um, let me see if I can show you. It's not very good because all you're seeing is shadow, but this mountain in front of us, we're going to hike over around the right shoulder over, over here and just to poke around and see what we can find. Coffee water's a boiling. This is like my favorite time of day. Oh yeah, let that steep for a few minutes. But back to what I was saying, the only problem with hiking around here is all the dry washes um, because the banks are thick with brush. And it's just, when you go around a mountain like that, it's just one wash after another coming down after off the mountain. So that'll be the one part that'll kind of get in the way, but we'll take you along and uh, show you what we find, if anything. Now, being the gentleman that I am, I always pour my cup first, a little bit, to get any grounds that are on the top. <laughs> that way, Linda doesn't have any grounds in her coffee, because we always make the cowboy coffee. There's no filter. And we always used whole milk, because... Low fat, you know, 2%, 1%. It always contains uh, non-fat milk in it. And it just kind of, when you put it in hot coffee, it brings out that powdered milk taste. And I just can't stand that. Well, we left camp on our hike. And it's first nice warm day we've had. It might even be a little hot. But we've already discovered something down here that we want to show you. Linda stumbled upon this cactus. And look at all the arms. It takes like, Linda said, 60 to 75 years before they even grow the first arm. Yeah. And this cactus, just looking at it, it's really old. And the girth up there, right here in the middle part, that's got to be like 30 inches wide right there. My goodness. But let me show you what she found on the other side. First of all, there's an old pair of soles here from a pair of boots or something. And <laughs> that is really old. Why they're here, I don't know. Looks like somebody got blown right out of their shoes. The leather is all gone. But look over here, what this says. Somebody painted this sign. It says Big Mama. And that's an old, old sign. Because the letters are all rusting. And look at this from the sunny side. Boy, she's wow. really something. Really something. I think she's so healthy because she's right on the edge of a wash that retains its moisture for a long time. Because if you look through the shade, you can see the uh, undergrowth. And it's all green down in there. Yeah, and it's wet. Yeah, this is the biggest saguaro I've ever seen. Here's one feature in the ground that it's kind of hard to make out, but if you saw it with the rest of what we're seeing, uh, it might make more sense. Yeah, so I was walking along and this looks like an arrow um, with the rocks. This is the top of the arrow, that big rock, and it comes down like this. And this is an old trail. I don't know if you can see it. It's obviously an old trail. And if you look where the arrow points, Darby Wall is down there. Yeah, so there was a spring there, most likely. But 
Yeah, I don't know, could be. You just, just don't know. If it wasn't for the fact of this trail here, which uh, like we say, it's kind of hard to see, but it, it works its way up this way and goes through. Um, that's a possibility. Just kind of neat to see that and wonder what it is. Well, you know, they say that when the Spanish came through, they left, um, there's not much for landmarks. So they left marks with rocks that yeah. they would recognize later. And we've just come across a pretty good trail. It might just be an old cattle trail. We don't know, but uh, it's going in the direction we want to go. There's something odd. Where is it? Right there. It's, um, it looks like it's brass. Hmm. Don't know what. Just a big pile of rocks right here. It's probably a property boundary or something. And no rubbish here, no sign that anybody's been out here walking around or playing around. And we're not on a trail, we're just going cross country. Just stumbled on an old road here. We're gonna follow it back. It's not in use at all, not even a motorcycle or ATV or nothing. There's no tracks on it. We just came on some burrow droppings and it reminded us uh, thinking about what kind of animals are out here and we're going to let Linda tell you. So, Miss <laughs> Expert, what's out here? I'm no expert. I just remember what I read. Um, well, the reader board at the visitor center said there are the rare uh, Sonoran pronghorn antelope but they're starting to come back because they have the wildlife refuge that helps them. I heard that they were down to 17 in number before they yeah, it got was a classified, pretty, you know. Endangered. endangered, yeah, and they're tiny. They're not like the Montana antelope, which is small, but they're even smaller than that. And there's also javelinas, which I haven't seen. Um, badgers. Which I don't want to see. Yeah, coyotes, which we've heard. Oh. Uh, Roadrunners. Oh, those, man, are they fast. Yeah. You think they're flying and they're running. Yeah, and they make that, that noise just like in the cartoons. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're funny. Yeah. Then there's the two kinds of owls. One's yeah. really, one of them's really yeah. tiny. Well, they're both pretty small. There's a ground nesting, uh, boring owl. And then there's one that lives in the saguaro cactus. Yeah. There's hummingbirds and flickers and... Yeah, if you put on a flower colored hat, the hummingbirds keep coming up to your face. Yeah. <laughs> and you put on a red hat, they'll come right up to you too. That's pretty amazing. There's cougars, mountain lions. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. Well, there's, you wouldn't think so, but there's uh, there's a lot of things living out here and there's a lot of birds out here. Oh, and not Red cardinals and... Snakes. Oh yeah, let's not talk about snakes. Let's just look for them. Well, we've been down here about three weeks now and it's been chilly. They, they've been saying it's been like 10 degrees below normal. Quartzite was chilly and windy. So we came over to here to Ajo, which is a little cooler, but almost no wind. And then it, we did have a windstorm come through, but it's been a lot better that way. But every day it's been like, you get up in the morning, it's like 35, 36, 38 degrees. And, and then in the evening when the sun goes down, you're pretty much heading, which is, this is February, so it goes down pretty early. <laughs> and uh, you head for your trailer because it's getting kind of cold. Uh, last night we had a nice get together around a fire with our friends and that was really nice. We stayed out a while, got to see uh, Starlink. Uh, they released a bunch of Starlink satellites right over our camp last night. That was pretty cool to see. But today is the first hot day and Linda and I are kind of wishing it was cooler again. Just can't be satisfied. There's these exploratory digs all over, but you never see any backhoe tracks or tractor tracks or anything like that around them. And that tells me they were done with a pick and shovel, but they're all over the place. A lot of hard work. So do you think it was one person? I don't, well, probably not, but just the mining company just exploring, you know? Hmm. I would guess, I don't know. 
You so, see them all? Um, I mean, you see them everywhere. A mining company rather than individual miners? I don't know. So but I, I know nothing about mining. Me either, but the fact that there's so many of these, it was probably the company, you know, mm. just doing exploratory digs, but there's never any tracks around them, just a big hole in the ground. Well, the road was going up the mountain. Now it takes a 90 to the left here. Goes down through this wash. And uh, we don't know if it keeps going or not. It looks like uh, for a road, it gets pretty darn rough. You don't think anybody's been here in a while? Not for a long while. This is rough now. Well, you know, if this is a um, just a ranch road, then this is just gonna go up to a water container or something. It could go up to a mine. Yeah. In these hills up here. It angles over this way. Yeah, it goes up into that draw or whatever you call. Oh. Well, let's go up there and figure it out, just for fun. Yeah, can't go up there much farther. Gotta be something up there. We're gonna check it out. It's been a steady climb for us since we started from the valley down below. Yeah, old tin can on the ground. There's a fire ring up here. Looks like a nice one. Nobody's been up here in many, many, many years. Obviously this road doesn't connect anymore. Here's a nice fire ring. So, okay. The road could be for miners, could be for hunters, could be for, could have been for um, people rounding up cattle when that ranch was still going. Now look at this. And they used uh, dirt to put the fire out. See, they dug the dirt right there. And used that, the last person to use this, put the fire out. But one, like I said, it hasn't been used for, there's no tracks up here, no nothing. It's been many, many years. Here looks like it may have been smoothed out for a tent, but whoo, that's not very smooth. Isn't that from a blade? Yeah, it looks like it was done with a shovel. Weird. It's not exactly a tent spot, is it? Nope. No. But let's go poke around in here. And you missed a t-shirt back there. T-shirt laying on the ground must have been a really old one, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't usable. Dang, I could have used a new shirt. New to me. Well, here's one thing. I don't see any aluminum cans and no rubbish. So obviously this is older. You know, when people actually cared <laughs> about taking their, packing their stuff out, except for that t-shirt. Okay, final word. I think it's either a hunting camp or something the cowboys used when they were taking care of the cattle. Uh, one thing's for sure, they had a uh, pretty fantastic view. Uh, it's a really rocky face. It almost seems like there's trails. I don't know. All I see is a lot of rocks. I'm going to go up through here, though. Yeah. Okay. This hillside is really rocky. Of course, the one thing I'm concerned about is snakes in the rocks. Almost to the top. I tell you, the view better be worth it. Hey, wait up. <laughs> Just don't twist that ankle. <laughs> Trying not to. If I'd quit leading you into these places, it'd be a lot easier, yeah? Well, half the time I'm leading you, so <laughs> same, same. <laughs> That's true. 
Well, this is the view. Down below us, there's people camped here and there. There's a mine way out there in the distance. Just be, on the other side of that is the little town of Ajo. And then there's Linda right there. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'd say that the view was worth it. Now we're going to work our way back down again and maybe we make our way back to camp. We'll see, though, because we're taking a different route. Mm, yeah. Prickly pear. And right here, it's muddy, really muddy. So probably if you dug down right here, you could probably get water, but you'd have to dig down a ways. But that's probably why all these cactus are just loving this area. Hi, guys. Look at this barrel cactus here. It's starting to flower on top. That's about uh, four feet high. But we're just tasting it and it's kind of sour. It looks like a miniature pineapple. Hope it's not poisonous. <laughs> I don't think cactus is. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's actually, it's juicy and it's got, and it's kind of like uh, unripe fruit. Huh? Interesting. See the strangest stuff in the desert. Here's a piece of pipe sticking out right here. And then 20 feet away is a, another one here, pounded in the ground. Another 20 feet away, another one, and then that's it. They're not tent, nobody uses them as tent stakes, they're just too far apart. Huh. I don't know. Somebody needed them. <laughs> Maybe at one time there was a tower here. <laughs> yeah, as likely as that is. And these were where the guy wires were anchored to. They weren't anchored very well. <laughs> it's like, it's like, well, but we I don't know. Put a tower up here anyway. Your guess is as good as anybody's because. It's obviously not a campsite, bushes and rocks and everything. Right. So why are these three posts pounded in the ground out here in the middle of nowhere? Well, I, I just blame it on the mining. I, I blame it on the aliens. Mining aliens? <laughs> well, I probably shouldn't have picked that fruit off the top of that cactus. It's probably illegal. Now I'm just out here on BLM land. It's not a national monument or anything like that. But it was tart and juicy. I could have eaten it. It was all right. But I don't know if it was okay to eat it, <laughs> physically speaking. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Hey, we're almost back to camp. And I'm hungry. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thanks for coming along on this episode of Gone Again. And we'll see you around.